Hi guys, welcome back. Scatling here and we are off for what is quite obviously the final episode of Metroid Other M. Why do I say final episode? Well, in the last episode, we went all the way through Sector 1 and got most of the items in, sector, in the main sector as well, leaving us with these two items left to grab. But of course, we can't just go walk straight towards them, we've got to go the most convoluted way possible. And with our 98 item collection rate, with only two more items left to grab in the main sector, this is obviously quite the last episode of this game, pretty much. So, let's just head on through here, onto the bridge it seems, but it's not going to be that easy of a trip, guess what? We have a boss! That's right, we have another boss at this stage in the game. Welcome the reborn, fi true final boss of this game, Fantoon. To be start off with this very oddly final boss, because you wouldn't expect um, Fantoon to be the final boss. You want to shine. You want to screw attack into his little hand minions, and you want to wave beam shoot him in the eye. He'll create a vacuum of space, which doesn't really affect you because you have. Gravity feature. <coughs> I don't know if the screw attack will get rid of these uh, uh, homing eyeballs, but I'm just jumping just in case if it does work. Take a pot shot at him whenever possible. <coughs> My throat's not the best today, it keeps clogging up when I least expect it. <coughs> so, excuse me for that. So, basically, we just gotta keep sniping him until we can get a good chance to charge up a super missile and snipe him in the eyeball like that. And it did not seem to affect him because that black hole just wanted to spawn in front of his face. Okay, I'll give it a snipe there. Let's try it now. Oh, no, never mind. You are going to take a lot of damage here. And your three E-Recovery tanks are going to do massive justice in this battle. I can mostly do this battle without taking any damage. But I don't know if that's going to be the case here. Because, you know, it's a let's play. Nothing is ever going to go smoothly. Okay. Super! Oh, come on! My super missile was just about to fire. Rude. Oh, move! Alright, let's try it now. There we go. Bam! But really, super missiles and normal plasma shots don't really do any difference to the damage that you do, really. So you can use super missiles, you can use plat charge shots, but overall, I would just keep sense dodging and try to whack him with a charge shot whenever possible. We've almost taken him half out just doing this, so that kind of works. <clears throat> it's kind of funny considering it's kind of funny considering that the Galactic Federation are ready to blow up the bottle ship any minute now, but they can't see the biologically re-engineered Phantom wreaking havoc. But then, they're then again, they're probably thinking, ah, who cares? It's going to get destroyed anyway. What? It doesn't matter what damage he causes. But excuse me, Galactic Federation, we're in here. But then again, again, because that bloody Admiral was so stuck up, he probably wants us dead. So why do they help us in the next game? I have no clue. But, you know, I'm talking about Metro Fusion here. I'm dodging so much here that I'm not actually getting a chance to try and snipe him with a charge shot. So you know what? Just run around wildly and rapidly spam the button. That seems to be the most effective means. A kind of a kind of strategy that I don't normally use, but it seems to work. So if it works, use it, I guess. Yeah, let's try another super missile. How about that? Boom! That did not seem to do a lot at all. Yeah, this fight is pretty much a endurance round. Who who can survive the most rounds of fire? Fantoon or you? Well, he's almost dead right now, so once his eyeball comes down like that, make a mad dash for it. And try and sense dodge into it. After this massive cutscene, you want to let let go of your charge. Boom! Right in the right in the iris. I think that's what it is. He goes floating off into space and blows up. It's amazing. Rainbow colored explosions, and I actually have over three energy tanks, so I that's actually kind of a first, because I normally get to at least one energy tank, so I did pretty well on camera. 
In fact, that's the best I ever did. Excuse me. Don't fail me now, first person. This is the last time I'll need you. Because, once we head through here, down these stairs, <coughs> apparently enough room for a shine spark that's completely and utterly pointless. Because I just, I still hit the door even though it was open. We'll go down this massive corridor, which doesn't have anything, not even in here, so kind of useless. But as you can see, we have looped back round to this lift, where once we start heading down, we can get those last two items on the way. But look, we're on our way to our target. So you don't want to forget about these two items, otherwise you're going to have to go through the whole after game again in order to do it. Because, well, I'll get into why that is in just a minute. Oh dear. The lift has stopped. Well, we're in a glass tube, so... When in doubt, in true Super Metroid fashion, power bomb out. Boom! I'm so enthusiastic today. Now, as soon as you blow this open, of course, you can see that nice effect on the floor there. I love that effect. And then it, after a while, it starts to cool down. It won't hurt you because, obviously, you've already a suit and stuff. But what you want to do is jump over... Well, actually, you don't even need to jump. You want to... Excuse me. Why is it not working? Oh, excuse me. That's the actual shaft piece. Because what I need to do here, if I can remember how to do this, so I've got to drop down and stay behind the lift shaft, I believe. If it will allow me, which apparently it won't. So, let's just fall. Ah, that's it. That pipe right here. Roll for it. Blow open the box. And there we go. We got our semi-final. Wow. Nice camera angle game. Anyway, our semi-final missile tank, thank you. Because going in the other end here will just take you to a dead end. <laughs> that camera angle. That was terrible. And our final one is right up here. Just wall jump or shine spark, whatever's your poison. And in this final box, we get our final missile tank. Congratulations, guys, if you've been following through. You've got... Whoops. Back up, please. 100% item collection rate. All we got to do now is finish off the after game. So let's just drop down. Don't worry about your energy. That's not going to be a major factor here. And we're at the end. We're on the top of this lift, which made us take that massive detour in the first place. Screw you, lift. I hate you, you freaking mug. But whatever. We got 100%. Let's go into this doorway where Adam resides and find Samus's irreplaceable item the theme song of, Met of Metroid of M plays and Adam's helmet like I said about five ten episodes ago he will be dearly missed And he left his helmet behind. Good timing, Galactic Federation, you freaking mugs. We can't have a touching moment. Samus, get a move on. Because of the... Because she couldn't have a touching moment, she couldn't reactivate her suit in time and recompose herself. So, if you pause right now and take the time to go to your status, you get to play as Zero Suit Samus. Your only weapon is the Paralyzer once again, you can't do anything other than that. Think of it as the uh, after game of Metroid Zero Mission, where you play as Zero Suit Samus. So you, who needs to beat the game as fast as freaking possible? We've got five minutes to get out of here. No time to reminisce about old memories with Adam. We've got to get out of this place before it blows. Spectacular uh, explosions from where we just were. And yes, you do want to charge up your beam as much as possible as that will give you the most optimal effect. No shine spark, no XL charges affecting your charge beam. You've just got to run. Oh, and guess what? If you touch fire, you will take damage. 
So do not even try to save, because it's not going to work. Let's just jump down here. Oh, excuse me, jump down please. Yep, we got the we got Zabesians trying to shoot us. Of course, you want to paralyze them if they get in your way. Run! Explosions everywhere! And be careful of the snipes, because unlike in Metroid Zero Mission, you will not get you will not take one energy tank worth of damage. And unlike in Super Mission, you don't even have your energy tanks, which is pretty odd. But if you take damage, you're only gonna take about a quarter of your energy tank, but you will be stunned quite a lot and you can easily be comboed. You can't sense dodge, you've only got your jumping, your sliding, your paralyzer, that, that's it. You just gotta make a mad dash to your ship. I mean, it wasn't it a little bit odd? Oh, you gotta press A to do the slide by the way, so make sure you have an extra thing and if those bloody things get in your way, just charge up your beam and, sh and shoot the shutters so that you won't get locked in. Hopefully I won't mess this up. God damn it, I did. Okay, this is easily fixable, but he's there to try and snipe you just in case if that's the case. Don't try and wall jump, it'll take you forever to pull it off. Even as Zero Suit Samus it is possible, just takes forever. Of course you don't need the power grip and... Oh, come on! And that never happens. Can't believe I messed up that jump. Nope. Oh. Three minutes. Run! It's more than enough time, but I believe in hard mode you have barely enough. So you can't make stupid mistakes like that. Skid. Oh, bloody grater in the way. Just rapidly shoot it and it will open eventually. He's going to be there, which will try and annoy you. So just charge up a beam and there you go and get the hell out of there before he gets a chance to snipe you in the backside. Because we, because like what Michael said in the previous episode, we know how much of a busty woman <laughs> Samus is. And I promise I wouldn't actually repeat that joke. And I can't move! Bloody debris in the way. Just do like a squiddly squid maneuver here. Whoever's we'll watched Madagascar 2. Which is. Consume. I personally think it's the second best in the series. Dodge all the fire! Jump over this debris! Oh! Damn it, I took damage. I thought I was going to... Why did you jump back into it, Samus? Random. Whatever. We've escaped. It wouldn't be a Metroid game if we didn't have an escape sequence. Well, excluding Metroid 2. We technically had an escape sequence, but it wasn't timed. And it would have been odd if we finished this awesome looking game without an escape sequence. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Adam. Let's go home. Someone set up us the bomb! We get signal! And the bottle ship is destroyed. And we got every item in the game. We've beaten the game 100%. We went for the entire story and after game. And the signature screen. You're right for... Completing items is... 100%. It wouldn't be a walkthrough if it wasn't 100%. Congratulations. Well, thanks, Madeline. And, as soon as that happens, your file automatically saves, you, and you're brought back to the title screen just like any normal game. But wait, if it's saved, what happens if we reload our file? Which is currently my second one. Notice that the third, first screen, the first file is no longer covered up with spoiler text. <laughs> because, I completed the game a whole, well, an hour and seven minutes faster than my actual best file, so that's actually pretty good. And if we restart our file, <clears throat> obviously we're going to have to go through this screen again. The Federation decides to destroy the bottle ship, blah, 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 blah. But if the bottle ship is destroyed, and it saves our progress of 100%, because it clearly said on our file, so what happens if you restart your file? 
Well, just like most games, it will just bring you back to the beginning, but in this case, it brings us to the beginning of the after game. We have to go all the way through Sector 0, back through Sector 3, back to the main elevator, all the way through the main sector, back around that long corridor, in order to get back to Adam's helmet again. But this time, it's not highlighted as a key item. This is just exploration, but the only way to actually get the 100% completion, or if you want to fight Fantoon again, you got to go do all this crap again. And if you make it to the end of the escape sequence, you'll be back here again. It's an endless loop. So, um, that's pretty much it. We got 100% in this game. I know that the game, that well, this series wasn't uploaded continuously, well, for the recent couple of episodes along with uh, Luigi's Mansion. I do have a bonus episode to show off what 100% completion unlocks. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> not really much else to talk about, considering that the credits was before the after game, obviously. So I've already said all everything that I have to say about the game, other than what I've already said. These last few episodes was just getting the rest of the items. I know there's a bit of a derpy, few derpy moments on getting items. Like I said, I'm not the best at Metroid. Stuff like that. So this Let's Play is complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the story, then props on to you. If you didn't, well, enjoy the gameplay. The gameplay is where it's at. And if you and if you like the graphics. You like the graphics. It's just... <clears throat> it's This is just one of those games where you just have to find the good points and enjoy them. I enjoyed the gameplay. I enjoyed the free, the, 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 the 2D Metroid gaming style with, in a 3D perspective. And I would like to see more of that. They've already done it with Super Mario 3D Land. They're going to do it again with Super Mario 3D World. Plays like a 2D Mario game in a 3D environment. I like those kind of games because it's merging both gameplay elements together. I'm not a fan of the first person, but that's just an acquired taste, I guess, because there's loads of first person games out there. But I'm just droning on now, and my god, this is a very short episode. I just realised that my time has just hit over 17 minutes. Pretty short. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this very short episode as well, as well as the entire series. Um, at least now you've had an opinion of why I like this game. It's a good game, despite what people believe. There's also, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm just rambling. I'll see you guys next time for the next episode of Luigi's Mansion, as well as the bonus episode of this series, which will come out maybe in a couple of days' time. How about that? So, I will see you guys then.